Charge, Charge one. one. Be a good time. Heck yeah. Good workout. Copy <laughs> that. Shout out to you, Mofo. Mofo, Mofo, PD. Came up for that. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. All right, what's going on, everyone? We have got a good one for you today. We're back up here hanging out with our friends at Southwest Toyota up here in Lawton, Oklahoma. It is a beautiful day. It's a range day today. Today, we get to fire the 777s, the howitzers, that HIMAR system we showed you guys last week. We are currently on Fort Sill, US Army base, where they test fire in the background right there. All these weapon systems, and if that doesn't excite you, it really should, because these are the same men and women Women, the same weapon systems that protect our beautiful country, that protect your freedoms as a fisherman to go out and be a professional bass fisherman, to go out and fish on the weekend. So we're surrounded by a bunch of badassery today and you guys are gonna come along. I don't know what we're gonna get into. I brought my boat with me today. They say there's some awesome ponds and fisheries on the base as well. So Justin Rogers, once again from Southwest Toyota up here, they are really laying out the red carpet for us for a heck of a treat today. All right, let's get it. We're gonna go out that way and down the main road. Okay. Beautiful day today. Oh, yeah. Blow yeah. some stuff up. Yeah, you can't complain about the weather. No, it's reality. <laughs> it's Amazing. awesome. Absolutely. So you see the little tent sitting there? Yes. So that's the FDC. All of the data comes from the forward observers that are okay. out there like on the hill watching. They send it down to the FTC. The FTC computes all the data, sends it to the gun line. They put the data on the guns and fire. Wow. So that's where they sit is inside that tent. With like a normal position, like you'd have a you'd have a motor T section, you'd have a comm section, all kinds of stuff like that. So this is, it's kind of like a miniature deal. Yeah. just rolled up and they're firing the triple sevens here all in a line and that boom was so freaking loud and we're gonna walk up and get to see it right in front of us one set welcome to the party looks like my side ready to get green getting get it out how you doing, Chris Morgan. Aldane? Robert Morgan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. I, uh, I'm a professional bass fisherman of all things. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm here with uh, with former Marine or Marine uh, Justin Rogers. He's a GM over at the Toyota dealership here oh, in Lawton. Yeah. My old man was Army. My grandfather was Navy. I was next in line at 18 years old. I won a bass boat, and I was just all right. Let's try this professional oh, bass yeah, fishing yeah. thing. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just got all kitted up here. We got the vest, we got the Kevlar helmets, we got ear pro, we got hand pro, eye pro, all that stuff. The boys are freaking awesome for having us out here. I'm so excited right now. Hello, Sorry, Section Congress. Chief Chris Aldane. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thanks you. for having us. How you doing, sir? You guys want to get dirty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're here to see some stuff. All right, yeah, just uh, pay attention to whatever he says. Okay. He's the guy that says yes or no to, uh, to safe fire under the weapon system. Sounds good. Anything he tells you to do, just try to keep in mind and we'll try to keep you as safe as possible. So Copy that. Fun. It'll be a good time. Heck yeah. It'll work out. <laughs> Basically, you're going to want to grab it down here. Okay. And you're going to want to tilt it. Yep. To where you can grasp the bottom. Yep. And you're going to come up. You're going to hold it just like this. So once you're there, he's going to come over and he's going to actually touch your projectile. Yep. And he's going to verify the shell, the fuse, and the setting. Okay. Once all that's done, he's probably just going to tap you on your back. Okay. What that means, you're going to take this projectile. And you're gonna come over here and you're gonna put your foot up here. We tell the boys like Captain Morgan stand. Yep. And you're gonna put the projectile, it's gonna pull the round backwards so it seats right here. Right there on the catch. Okay. Yep. And then one of these gentlemen, hey, bring me the Rammy staff. So your driver, he's gonna be sitting back here with the Rammy staff. And the most important thing you need to do with this thing okay. is you're gonna put it behind the projectile. And you're gonna say, ready, drop. When that happens, he's gonna lower the loading tray. Yep. 
first, right? Go ahead. Ready? Drop. So you have to follow it. Follow it. Got it. And then we're gonna slide the projectile up, and you and him are gonna have a conversation. You're gonna say, "Ready? Ram!" And at that point in time, you're gonna take your hand. You guys are just gonna build the projectile in the cannon tube. You're gonna let go, and he's gonna run away with the stick. Okay. And that's that's basically how it goes. Got it. Any questions? No, sir. Oh, sounds good. So it should be facing just like this. Okay. The chief is gonna come and grab it, try to twist this, look at it. Once it's all verified, then he's gonna slap you in the back, and that's and when you make your way over there. The okay. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Where's the Things like 75 pounds. <sighs> now these are test rounds. So They're loaded full of concrete. They tell me. So we were initially told that we were gonna get those concrete, concrete practice rounds, projectiles, yeah. 1122s. But these are actually a newer form of incentive munitions okay. that actually explode. Like they wow. produce real uh, high explosives down there, which is kind of cool. That is very cool. Yeah. So not only will you be able to see it or hear it, but then you'll be able to see the actual effects Impact. on the gun. Absolutely. Very cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. Battery to road! Battery to road! Charge one! Charge one! Charge one! Charge one! Charge one! Charge one! Quadrant 200! Okay, back. Sherry Chief, use Mofa! Sherry Chief, use Mofa, bad boy! Mofa, Mofa, PD! Mofa, Mofa, PD, bad boy! Ready, drop! Ready, ram! Ah! 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 Ah!
Wow, that was absolutely amazing, man. Oh, like last week we were here, Justin went through the whole sequence of shooting that triple seven freaking giant cannon. And like, I, it went through one ear and out the other. Seeing the Marines go through every single sequence just to fire off one round, all these different propellants and charges and projectiles, absolutely amazing. So thank you guys, US Marines. That was freaking phenomenal. Experience of a lifetime and I got a little lunch here as well we grabbed a couple mres here so not only did we hang out with the marines but now we're gonna eat like them and then we get to go fishing today all right we made it to uh lake elmer thomas Got like a 20 mile an hour south wind but that's okay because this small lake here in the hills of oklahoma is half on base and half off base so um, we just left Fort Sill, so we're technically still on Fort Sill Army Base, um, but it's a beautiful day. It's February, first week of February, so there should be some pretty big bass to catch. What I believe um, is there's some big largemouth and big smallmouth, so uh, a good little day to hop in the boat with Justin and uh, just kind of show them and run down this forward-facing sonar stuff, right? Because not only myself is sponsored by Gilchrist Automotive, Southwest Toyota, uh, but Josh Jones is as well. You guys saw him in the last video, but he's a forward-facing, like, absolute king. And uh, I want to show Justin just a little bit of what Josh has showed me over the last few months here. So hopefully we catch a big one. So it'll come up, there's a big offshore hump, comes up to about four feet and then falls back off. Over here, there's bluff walls. There's an island, oh, yeah. a point here, point oh, no. here. Perfect. This water is like 15 foot visibility, pretty cool. Like who knew Oklahoma had mountains like this? So like military guys can rent these cabins, oh, come nice. out here, hang out for the weekend. There's a big water slide over there. Oh, like all nice. Kind of stuff. <laughs> she wanted to come back for more. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing, man? This lake seems like it's got a lot of fish in it. What's crazy is they don't have shad in here, but they're biting the shad type baits. That's cool, man. There's one on a tail spinner. See, look how many fish are down there, Charles. Look at this. Just loaded down there. Throw a hot dog down there. Actually, I got a primer in my pocket from that last little session. I bet you if I wacky rigged it. See, I bet you I could put a hook on that right there. The primer from the howitzer. Throw it down there. 
chugging along. <laughs> no? Okay. Let's catch another one. <laughs> Moving fast, that's a good thing. Things are active. Look how fast it's moving. I wonder what those could be. I guess they're bass. But for 39, they are hauling serious ass. I'm gonna idle us back down to that first little area. I don't know what those were. Oh, she had it. Oh, no. Give that a shot. Got her. Nice, dude. She came up for that. Nice. <laughs> Looks a little bigger, too. Nice. Oh, I thought that was a smallmouth. Dude, I thought we were going to cheers this smallie. So we've been seeing of like several schools like out deep 35 and we went up to 20 here. 39 degree water temperature and like 15 to 20 foot visibility. And guess what? There's no shad in here. And I only brought shad style bait, so we're lucky to get these bites. That was awesome, dude. Good job. <laughs> biggest thing I've learned with this whole forward-facing sonar thing I've been only doing it for a couple months here but one big thing I've noticed you know the old-school fisherman in me would want to attack this lake and fish every beautiful point any little point or channel swing on this map right here but what I did was uh, this these last five minutes here I went back and I looked at my trail and pretty much everywhere I turned the boat around and spent some time and created kind of a ball in my trail I put a waypoint on those are fish that we actually worked on with forward-facing sonar. But I, what, what I want you to look at is where these waypoints are and how, you know, you would think they're on the very tips of the points or the channel swing banks or bluffs this time of year. But look at where these waypoints are. We've had the trolling motor down for a couple of hours now. And look, I mean, here's this nice, beautiful point right here. I would think they would be at the very tip of it, but no, they're on the side of the point leading into a cove. Same thing over here. We worked on a big one right here. I would think that they'd be right here on the end of this point, but no, they're on the side of that point right there. That very first school we saw, nice little channel right down the middle here. You would think it would, the fish would be on this little ledge right here, beautiful little ledge, or on the tip of this point, but no, it is just on the side of that point there. So, long story short, when you're forward-facing sonar, scoping around, staying on the trolling motor, looking around, make it a point to not fish the fishiest looking stuff, if that makes sense. Those tight contour lines on a long drop-off point, stay away from that stuff. Everyone fishes it, and it seems like the majority of the fish are just out in the lake. So with this little visual here, I encourage you guys to just kind of put the trolling motor down and look in spots you don't typically fish. I mean, Justin fishes this lake a lot. He took me to one of his favorite spots it looked beautiful on the map but as soon as we ventured off that we started seeing fish on those weird looking topography lines so keep that in mind what would you say if someone told you that eight years ago oh someone told me that eight good question charlie Psh, whatever dude have fun dragging out there you can't see anything i'll have fun on this like long sloping point with a drop off throwing a spoon or a swim bait real slow or a deep diving crankbait but yeah eight years ago previous to forward facing sonar you guys could have all those ugly contour lines but now that we can see these ugly contours and just scan around them that's where a lot of the fish are We caught a few fish, learned a couple things out here. Again, I mean, 39 degree water temperatures, you can't expect much, but 
did catch a few in like 35, 37 feet of water, all largemouth. Got to thank Justin Rogers, my marine buddy. He, uh, again, he's the GM over at Southwest Toyota here in Lawton. Beautiful Lawton. I mean, look at the mountains behind us. Who would have thought? Oklahoma, right? So thank you to all the Marines, Army men, uh, heck, Air Force, Navy, uh, Space Force, Coast Guard, all you guys. Thank you guys so much for protecting this awesome country and allowing us to do what we love to do on the weekend. So special thanks to all the guys over there on Fort Sill who let us pull that rip cord, who let us load up those giant projectiles. Absolute fun day. Thank you guys all for hanging out. Justin, you're the man. Absolutely. Until next time, we'll see ya. We're in Oklahoma. How do you call that big boy? Moo! That's a big animal. That is a giant animal. Wow. I got pressure behind me. Wow. Just chilling. That's cool, dude. Freaking bison on the uh, nature preserve out here, Fort Sill. Freaking bison.